Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play Otoki 2. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius. Last we left off, I had gone through the uh, Prison of Stone. It was not a nice place. But, I would have been reading up a little bit on stuff and things and found that the... Can I still do it here? Or do I have to go to the stage select now? I think I have to go to a stage select. It's not quite what it's called. Hmm. Yeah, okay. It's okay. I'm using a guide from uh, IGN.com for frequently asked questions and whatnot, and they have different names for the different stages. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and you and go through this with Suna and Sadamitsu, who this guide has officially dubbed Wolf Guy and Scythe Girl. So, uh, I hope something comes of it. If not, then this makes it an entirely pointless thing. But there's supposed to be a a uh, bonus cutscene with both of these characters. If anything, too, this gives me an excuse to level them up some more. Because remember that this stage is best done with Kintoki, who has ridiculous knockback and the ability to pick up and slam monsters into one another. Yeah, yeah, kill the six leaders. Whoop. Also remember to not be around when things need exploding. Honestly, I do remember using Suna bef before and he was a right badass. I don't look at this guy, it's just... Yep, watch out. I got gotcha. you. That'd be really nice as if things would stop exploding on me, but that's the nature of these spiders. Whew. Especially when they literally just explode. When that is their gimmick, that is their want. That is the uh, way they live, the way they die. I honestly do like Sune here. He's. Like, I do like his design and whatnot. He's shown as some sort of mad beast sort of thing going on there, and, well... Come on, explode in his face! Nice. That. Is he gonna go boom? He's not gonna go boom. Oh, Jesus, red flames. That. Okay, I zoomed right into that one. There we go. I realize I need to be more vigilant. I also realize that there's probably some other loot stuff in here that I did not previously get before. Look at that sweet XP. I'm assuming it's XP anyways. Whoa. Okay, that one just exploded on his own behalf. I, I did nothing to him. I just wanted to quickly point this out. There we go. Explode the things. Uh, I did not skip that, but okay. Hey, got some spirits. Might as well smash these as well. Yeah. Badass. I'm going to jump on over here really quickly because this looks interesting. Oh, it's the butterfly spell. Neat. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Vitality Orb. Oh, cool. Agility Orb. Oh! 
Can I just come here to destroy all these things with every character and get different orbs each time? That would be a little OP. Uh, yeah. Okay, so after all of this, I just need to not die terribly and painfully to the spiders that are down below. Sounds fairly easy. Because I think there's only two left here now? Yeah, that sounds about right. One more remains. Cool. ザコ。長く続く土雲一族との争い。あなた、その犠牲者でしたね。生命よ。このような雑魚では、わしの血の限りは抑えられぬ。我が腹からの魂。虫どもを根絶やしにすれば、沈まらぬ。Not sure what he has against him, but I got the incense of death. Butterfly spell, vitality, agility, resistance, all of the things. And apparently I've only found like 50% of the spirits. Okay. And I do feel like I have to remind people that Sadamitsu is not a physically strong character. I mean, especially in my uh, whole not having used her a lot of things. Like, at all. But again, she combos like no tomorrow. I have watched out. He has exploded. I am safe. God damn, Sadamitsu is freaking fast too. I only just wish that her. I don't know what that was. Does she freeze people? I think she freezes people. This might actually be a little bit uh, slower going than when I was fighting that Sune. I really just need to like beef up her attack power, which this should be fairly doable in this particular place. Really, this is more or less just me going, oh hey, let's grind this character for a bit. I'm not even sure how she tossed that guy. Can you hear it? Alright, she doesn't have any magic. If I just focus on these guys, I shouldn't have too much problem. In theory. <laughs> Wait, what's that over there? Ooh. Wait, don't let this be just a life orb. Or restores MP. Close enough to a life orb. That said, let's get this mercy guy. Yeah. Mostly did that for shits and giggles. Uh or did I? Yeah, I totally did. Probably should have at least leveled up Sanamitsu's life before doing this, but eh. Wait, does she have a... Yes, she does. So. Alright. Um... I don't think they do regenerate in this area, do they? They probably don't, just to disappoint me. Oh well. I got a giant ass spider over here that I need to murder, so. Nah. -ha. So which one of you is gonna go boom? Well that one went rather exorbitantly boom. Whoa! That one took two life orbs out of me. Crap it. 
Just goes to show that Sadamitsu needs to be really ridiculously careful. Also just means that she needs to combo things more. Or restore her MP some more. I don't know. One of the two. Um. Hmm. That's a lot faster with her. Mizukage. Hmm. All right then. Uh, no more spirits. Less defeated enemies, I think, that time. Yeah, because with Sune, I had killed 24 last time? I don't know. So what is it that everyone had gotten? I'm pretty sure that Sadamitsu had unlocked a new weapon for herself. No? Scythe revered by the clan of water. Oh. She is part of the clan of water. Hence why that was nostalgic. Alright, uh... Let's go to Tsutake. Where's the butterfly one? Oh, I'm an idiot. House like Binbu. A spell that calls forth pale blue butterflies that swarm the enemy. Even the fastest creatures cannot escape from their fluttering attack. Kinda doesn't sound like much, but at the same time, you know, stuff. So what are the accessories I got? Uh, the belts. Ah, essence of incense of death. This increases the damage versus demon spiders. Incense used to ward off insects that is imbued with a deadly curse. Increases physical attack and magic attack against their, against the demon spiders and their, their ilk. That's pretty cool. Mizukage. A top that increases life recovery. Yep, that's a top. A sacred top given at birth to the next chief of the village of water is imbued with the key of water and increases the owner's life recovery. Oh, that's neat. I thought that it was a new weapon for Sadamitsu here, but... Nope, that was not the case. So I suppose I'll move on to the next stage. Wasn't the Valley of Mist, was it? Like, I think all of these are just missions that I can do. Sadamitsu is apparently fantastic for this one. That's right. This is the last one that I had played before deciding to call it and uh, play this for a Let's Play. Ain't gonna lie, this one kinda sucks. I thought I had different ones. Like, there's a belt. Yeah, let's give this one to Sadamitsu. Uh, give her the butterfly, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, that should do alright. I really want to start unlocking uh, weapons for the people, but unfortunately, that all starts happening like as you clear levels individually. Which kinda blows. Which kinda blows. Load! おそらくは結界破り。結界の守りを失えば城金の身ならず、あまたの容器が都と死にかかるでしょう。船の放つ宝術により、4枚の御符が破られる前に。
すべての戦鋭を打ち滅ぼすのです OK This one I definitely recall because it pissed me the hell off to the point where it was like, ah, oh, crap it. So essentially, I need to go from ship to ship to ship to ship, destroying them one at a time. I mean, if I could destroy them two at a time, that'd be great. Ah, come on. It's kind of throwing me off though. Ah. Is that every single one of these ships comes pretty much from a different direction? Ah, there we go. Oh, I guess this is why Sanamitsu is best because she's got the speed to handle these ships. Oh, balls, that's a big one. Because before, I think I was doing it. Doing this with Suna, who is decidedly not that great at speeding. Uh, can we focus on destroying the ship? Oh, what? Red flames from where? There we go. Uh, where's the ships? Okay. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, what? Way to throw me off there, Ken. I mean, at the least, her vitality and intelligence are increasing ridiculously high. Yeah, I seem to recall that the last time I had decided to try to do this stage was. Ah, come on. Was when I was playing as Suna. And Suna had gotten super stuck. Like, he was in the water and he was trying his damnedest to dash out of the water. Um. I haven't let any pass by me. Oh, right. Big ship. Big ship covered in ghouls. Oh, hey, it's that fight with uh, what's his face all over again. That priest who is super loyal to what's his face? Being all, perhaps. My master will see my loyalty and return. Boo yeah. Uh, am I missing something? Another massive ship? I got this. Assuming that it's all the way over here and I didn't actually just pass it by. Oh wait, there's a thing over here. I think I got time to get it. Strength orb! Perfect for the little lady who has none. Okay, come on. Going for this one probably wasn't a good idea. Because now I have a limited time to go over here and be all like, Wah! Very little time to be all like, Wah! Uh, what's also really weird is trying to get my character moving on the boats. Because even while it's on the boats, my character slides gradually. Two strength orbs. Alright, what's the next page? I only... Wait, was there even anything to destroy in that level? Evidently there 
are some things to destroy in that level. Both of which I assume are ships. I don't know, maybe I can destroy that bridge as well? Strength 10. Jesus. Alright, so Satomitsu isn't doing too bad now. I presume that she isn't doing too bad now. Again, she's a very combo-heavy character that's all about, you know, hitting B until you need to hit the X button. Kind of... Now I'm just thinking, alright, um... I want to know what people think about doing the entire levels uh, with the separate characters that have different cutscenes and thus give different abilities and whatnot. Because I want to show all of that, but at the same time I realize that would get extremely repetitive really quick like. But that might just be me. On the other hand, I could just record them separately and then be all like, Oh, hey, here's this thing, by the way. When you do this thing with this stage with this character. Which is not as fun, if you ask me. But again, that's all you guys, more or less. Saving the game. There we go. Alright, gonna go ahead, call an episode here. When I return, I don't know, I guess I still need to do that Prison of Stone thing. And maybe stop that headless samurai guy. We'll see. So thank you all for watching. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.